Morning and happening today, Tampa leaders exploring a measure to stabilize skyrocketing rent prices. And on your sides, Beth Roussel live now with a look at the action that struggling families are taking today. Good morning, Beth. Hey, Chris, and if you're a renter, you've definitely noticed the increase in prices, but some of these families say they're actually being forced out of their homes. They tell us, yes, there are plenty of these luxury complexes that are going up, but they want to know where is the affordable housing. So today, Tampa City Council members, they're going to be learning more about the possibility of a rent stabilization ordinance. Now, I'm going through the report that was put together by the city's attorney. It compares two other cities in the U.S. that have similar measures in place. It warns, though, that this type of ordinance is very risky and highly likely to be challenged. That's probably the reason that it appears no city or county in Florida has adopted a rent control or stabilization ordinance since the 1970s. The recommendation is to wait until the end of the current legislative session, but these families say that they need something done now. I have a family member who made $20,000 last year, and her rent went up three hundred dollars i've talked to families who who have multi-generational homes who are now looking for extended family to go in on rent prices and and living together and these families say that they don't have time to wait and they're going to make sure that their voices are heard they're going to be outside of city hall today sharing the struggles that they're facing it's going to be happening just after this city council workshop where they're going to be learning and exploring the option of that potential ordinance that's set for 1 30. we'll bring you all the latest updates here on air and on the wfla app we're live downtown this morning beth russo eight on your side Thank